Yeah, am I the only person that's been somewhat surprised by the amount of people who are like running to defend her son? I know this is old news. I appreciate this has been spoken about to death, but please do indulge me because I've been away for a while. But I remember I covered this on my main, po- my you know, cultural commentary podcast, the Axino Zinger Show, where I was speaking about Hassan Abi, Hassan Paika making these comments, basically saying that streaming is a harder as a job than working a regular job. And obviously the internet blew up and laughed at him about it because it's obviously a nonsensical comment. But and I'm obviously made a comment based on what he said as well. But since I've clipped a little thing segment of my show and put it on my channel, I've got a lot of feedback from people who are I don't, I'm not sure if they're Hassan fans or I'm not sure if they're the type of people online who just like to nitpick and shit. But either way, if they're Hassan fans, it's pretty cool because there's a lot of fans out there who are really trying to ride for him and basically saying, "Oh, you took him out of context." He was talking about something else. He was talking about in general. He was talking about fatigue. You're doing the argument in bad faith. I had some guy call me a grifter, which was quite cool, right? Because I'm always calling other people grifters on here. So I had someone calling me a grifter. I was like, shit, I'm reaching a level where people are calling me a grifter. I'm about to make it. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> people are calling me a grifter. So that was quite nice. But I did decide to listen to a lot of their feedback. You know, a lot of their insults were quite personal, but you know, I've got big shoulders like Brendan. I take it on the, I take it on my shoulders. I got a big chest, paws or not paws, whatever. So I decided to go online and find the context of what Hassan Abi was saying. And I did find it courtesy of his own Twitter account, right? So this is courtesy of Hassan Abi's own Twitter account. He added the context here. The caption on his tweet says it's wild how this completely out of context clip made its way to Twitter so fast. I was talking about how much a nine hour stream eats away at your social battery and how I can't socialize after comparing it to my sales job before. I recognize how fortunate I am every day. So let's actually play the context of the clip because I'm actually curious to see if the context actually makes him sound better because I don't think it's possible because I think the comment at its core is idiotic. But let's see Hassan Abi in full context again. So all you Hassan Abi fans, Hassan Piker fans out there that were getting at me, you know, calling me names, insulting me, calling me a grifter, all this type of shit. I understand. I accept it. No problem. Let's see the context and let's see whether or not I was talking at my ass. No, 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 no. Social battery wise, unless you're in retail, unless you're in fucking retail, it's very different. You're out of touch. I'm going to die, dude. There's motherfuckers who are accountants in here and they're misunderstanding what I'm saying. A real job does not expend your social battery in the same fucking way as someone who did a sales job, a real job, okay? I'm telling you, as someone who did did both, like nine hours of, of constant performance and people pleasing taps you out from social scenarios. After nine hours of that, I could probably do fucking physical labor. It would not bother me. But I can't fucking do more social shit. That's my point. There are obviously real jobs out there that are good comparisons. Service sector, people-pleasing jobs would be very similar. Those are, like, I think, customer service type shit. But, like, if you're an accountant or if you're... Even, like, in sales, my interactions with clients was limited way more limited than like constantly having to do this for nine hours with like a back and forth interaction for nine hours. That's what, that's what like sucks your, your social battery and you just tap out after it. Yeah. Think about it this way. You give presentations for your job, right? Imagine giving a presentation for nine hours straight. It's like after a while you'd be like, I don't want to talk ever again. (laughs) So that's the context. Uh, big up Matthew Escolin you made exactly the right point there which I was about to make it varies everyone's social battery is different and I think that's at the, that's at the crux of it right everyone's social battery is different because somebody also left me a comment that was pretty smart apologies I forgot who you are but the person basically said um, for them streaming if they had to stream as a job it would actually be more tiring and harder work for them because they'd have to turn on because some people don't like to be a personality in front of a camera. They don't like to quote unquote come alive. They don't like to be extroverted. So that for them would have been an actual harder job than working their regular job because of that having to turn on, having to be a character, having to smile, having to have banter, all this sort of stuff. It would be too exhausting for them. So I understand that. But I think in, in general, 
it's still an idiotic comment to make because you don't have to stream. That's the thing that I'm saying that's at the crux of what he's probably misunderstanding from this. You don't you don't have to stream to make a living. Like streaming is like a privilege. It's like a gift. It's like a once in a, you know, whatever. It's like a it's like only this it's only a small percentage of actual people that create content online who make money from it. Let alone a living. But a job you have to have to kind of keep a roof over your head, right? So the fact that he's equating both of the things the same doesn't really make any sense. And the point he made at the end about presentations is completely wrong because I feel like in jobs, there's way more pressure on a presentation you're doing because you're working that job and you're afraid that if you fuck up the presentation, you might get fired. There's never going to be a stream that you're going to do, no matter how shit it is. Like, I remember I once did a stream on here where I was literally falling asleep and I had to delete the whole thing because it was fucking awful and I was rambling and shit. But I'm never going to lose my channel because I do a shit stream. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to lose my channel because I've got the facts wrong or something or whatever. But at work, if you present terribly, if you don't get your facts right, if you're not prepared, if you forget to present like I did it or for a few hours or you turn up fucking two hours late, you can get fired. Like the, There are jobs nowadays I've heard people have who if they turn up late twice, you can get a written warning twice. It doesn't matter if you turn up five minutes late, half an hour late. If you turn up twice in a late in a calendar month, some jobs will give you a written warning. So the fact that the fact that people have this, the fact that he has this weird idea that streaming and having a regular job is the same thing, just doesn't really make any sense because there's still a good point that he's trying to say that he's not saying. That's the thing that's really odd about this guy. Like he spends nine hours a day streaming. But he often misspeaks. You know, he often fucks up what he's trying to say. He often doesn't get his words right. Like, it's like you're the poor communicator here because the point he should be making, in my opinion, is that streaming is also hard. Being a content creator is also difficult. Don't compare it to having a regular job. Just say doing this on a daily basis is still a difficult thing to do. It's not easy. You still have to set up your things, research your topics or get topics you want to talk about, interact with the chat, um, you know, try and fill the dead air. There is a there is a form of exhaustion there. There is a form of like tiring. It's not easy to do. But comparing a stream online to what you have to do as a job to keep a roof over your head and put food on the table is completely two different things. And if anything, it's quite insulting to both things. You're insulting the privilege and the opportunity and the gift you're being given to be a professional streamer. And you're also insulting those people who watch you, the majority of which are working in regular jobs by, um, you know, trying to say that their job is less harder than what you're doing when they have to do what they're doing. They have no, you know, other option but to work that job, to pay their bills and to keep a roof over their head and to put food in their belly. Whereas your job, you don't have to do that. Like no one's forcing you to do that. You don't, you know what I mean? You chose that vocation. Yes, it's doing well for you, but it's not something that you have to do. Whereas having a job is something that you literally have to do. And sometimes you have to work a job that you actually don't like to get paid. You know what I mean? That's one of the things that people don't even realize in that kind of regard. I don't think there's any streamer online. I don't think so anyway. Don't Maybe I'm in the minority. Maybe I'm in the wrong here. I can't think of a single streamer or a single content creator who does content they don't enjoy. I can't think of one. A person who just turns up, puts on a stream and talks about things that people will like, but they don't like. You have to like what you're talking about. It doesn't matter what it is to some extent. So comparing the two things is really idiotic. Um, I would love to know what that phenomenon is about anyway. I feel like I've seen a lot of people do this thing now, especially people who are like really privileged and, you know, are living in a lapse of luxury, trying to equate their experience with regular people. I wonder what that's about. Because I don't necessarily think it's necessary. Like, no one's discounting that Hassan doesn't work hard because he does, right? No one's discounting that in his field, he works very hard. But it's also not the same as working a regular job. So why are you trying to compare the both, you know? Like, I get you want credit for the work that you do, but having getting credit for what you do and then comparing it to what regular people have to do are two completely different things, you know? Um, and you would imagine someone like him being a socialist would know that because there are some people out there working some horrendous jobs, bro. Like there are some people like, I remember, forget the job, but I remember there was this woman that I was working with one time 
who was commuting from Birmingham to London. Now, you some of you guys don't live in the UK, but if I'm not mistaken, isn't Birmingham like more than a four hour journey? Let me just double check on here. She was commuting every day from Birmingham to London and we don't have a lot of high speed rails here, right? So she was commuting all the way from Birmingham to London. Not a lot of high speed rails. So let's see how let's see the direction, let's see how long it is on the train. On my phone, it's telling me that it's two hours and 15 minutes. She was commuting two hours and 15 minutes into central London every single day. So there are some people that are busting their balls out there, bro. Like busting their fucking balls. And let me tell you, like, the trains in the UK, yes, they're plentiful, but they're not a nice experience. She's probably having to stand up the entire journey, you know? She's standing up the entire journey, traveling from Birmingham to London. What time is she waking up in the morning to get to London at, for, to start at 9 a.m.? She's maybe leaving her house, what, 6, maybe 5.30 to be like on the safe side of things? That means she wakes up what time? 4, 5 to shower? If you're a woman, maybe more time to put your makeup on and shit? Like some people are, forget even the work she's doing. She's already traveling, you know, in com like before you even started, she's already been awake for like four hours thinking about work. And then here you are as a streamer sitting in your room somewhere in a fucking nice gamer chair complaining that your job is just as hard it's like come on man that's insulting do you know what I mean? it really is insulting but you know maybe that's part of the whole thing online is to throw out all these crazy hot takes you don't really believe in just for the band just for the sake of it um and it's a shame because i don't know like there are times where i quite enjoy hassan's content i think he's pretty cool sometimes but sometimes i listen to what he says and i'm like he gives me a lot of like spoiled brat energy you know, he gives me a lot of that spoiled brat energy, which is cute when you're like under 25, but he's probably pushing 30, maybe over 30. It's like, you got to grow up a little bit. You got to grow up. You got to be able to know how to use your words. You got to be somewhat aware of how you come across. Like, I don't know. He's just, it's as much as I want to like the guy, he's difficult to like, you know, that's the thing with Hassan. I've noticed over the years, like he's a hard guy to kind of root for because he just says some dumb shit. And then he refuses to acknowledge his dumb, doubles down on the dumb shit, and then starts crying when people call him out on the dumb shit. It's like, all right, whatever you say. So hopefully some of you Hassan Abi fans out there have got an idea on what I think about it. You've got the context of what he said, and then, you know, you can make up your own minds. But it was quite insane to see all these Hassan fans coming out defending him when it's like, it's pretty indefensible. He's the one that said the fucked up shit. You know what I mean? He could have just said, hey, streaming is difficult. We would have all been okay with that, but he tried to fucking continue it and make it a big deal, and here we are, you know? Here we fucking are. Here we fucking are.